as the last of the winter 2019 projects, the second permanent section of SCN5 between Stagates and Southampton Common opened in February 2020. A relatively short section at just over 300 metres in length, it is however a vital link as it finally connects the first section of SCN5 along Inner Avenue to Southampton Common. It also brings the isolated southbound lane along Inner Avenue into use at last, a section that until that point had drawn complaints about under use. The majority of the route is segregated cycleway, with short sections of shared path at either end. A new Toucan crossing along Lodge Road provides a safer link to the southbound side of the Inner Avenue section. A new Tiger crossing has also been installed across Northlands Road to ensure that riders can legally cycle to the common without the need to dismount. As a nice bonus, there's also a tool stand near the St Andrew's Church Toucan crossing in case you ever need to do any emergency maintenance. We start southbound on the shared path outside St Andrew's Church. The junction with Alma Road has been turned into a continuous pavement, giving pedestrians priority. The same is true for every other junction along this stretch. This first section was created by reducing the road width and installing stone curbs in a similar fashion to the Inner Avenue section of this route. We briefly bump up to a shared path section which allows pedestrians to reach a central traffic island before rejoining a lined off cycleway shortly afterwards. The dropped curbs can make this a bit of a bumpy ride but overall this is a fairly pleasant bit to ride on. We go back to a shared path near Lodge Road where two new Toucan crossings have been installed to help reach the Inner Avenue cycleway and Bannister Road. Heading northbound, the previous shared path remains pretty much the same. Access to the businesses is an issue, as is the placement of the bus stop, which meant that a segregated cycle lane wasn't on the cards for now. See how many bollards you can count though. The segregated cycleway begins just north of Cavendish Grove and again is an on-road lane protected by stone curbs. There's a slightly extended gap here to allow cyclists coming from Avenue Road to join the cycleway. Approaching Northlands Road we have the option to rejoin the road or to split off to the left towards Southampton Common. Presumably the on-road direction will become segregated in phase 3 of this project. As we get closer to the common, we have a new tiger crossing replacing a traffic island, giving pedestrians and cyclists priority when crossing. On the whole, this is a short but very pleasant addition. The segregated lanes are welcoming and smooth, and the shared paths are also sufficiently wide that you never really feel like you're coming into conflict with anyone. The signage along this route has also been significantly improved. In my first video about SCN5, I noted that the southbound route was isolated and therefore unlikely to be used. Thankfully the new Toucan crossing across Lodge Road finally brings this section into play providing a safe route towards London Road and Beavis Valley, and hopefully reducing cycle traffic along the busy shared path on the western side. The third phase of this route, due to begin construction in January 2021, will finally provide a safe route all the way from the city centre to Southampton University via Lover's Walk. It will also provide a route that goes the majority of the way towards the city boundary in the north. However, the loss of the northernmost section of the pop-up lane means that the section between Winchester Road and Chilworth Roundabout will revert to a fairly narrow shared path. 
However, this second phase is important in itself as it provides a link to Southampton Common and onwards to Upper Shirley. While SCN5 is nowhere near the finished article yet, the pieces are starting to fall into place. <laughs>